So our speaker today is Jessica Shippey. She's one of our members, you all know her. Some of you have sketched with her and you see the beautiful work that she does. Um, her work has a subtle grace to it. You know, it's just beautiful. It has, you know, it's, it's loose and it's, it's really beautiful. Anyways, she will share her sketches of her recent trip to travels to France and her technique of using water-soluble pens um, and how urban mm -hmm. sketching has changed the way she changed her work. I can't, I can't talk, you know, it's there someplace, but it'll come out. <laughs> and she will guide us on a sketch. Did you all download the um, picture so you can sketch with her? Okay. All right, Jessica, take it away. Hi, <laughs> right, thanks. Hi, I'm Jess. All right, so yeah, I have sketched with most of you, so I'm a pretty new urban sketcher. Um, those of you who know my art from before, um, I did a lot more plein air, which, and I want to get every little detail. So I'm a very draw every window, draw every shadow, map it out, and I'm not a very creative artist, and urban sketching has forced me to be more creative and figure out what's important, find the lights, find the darks. And um, from there, I have grown into what I've always wanted to be more painterly artists and I've always admired painterly artists. And now I feel like I'm getting closer to that. And that's what I think um, urban sketching has really helped me grow a lot. And I thank Lisa so much for starting the local chapter here because it's now like, when are we meeting? What's going on next? I like plein air, but now I really just want to sketch because I'll do it. You know, I, I had a two year, I really didn't create anything. And like from February, 2020 on to, um, to probably golly, like a year, I didn't paint anything. I didn't create a single piece of art. And I think knowing that the sketches didn't have to be finished, final pieces didn't bring so much pressure and anxiety. They could just be for me and they could just be a moment and you can just look at them like a like a photograph and and uh, remember that the temperature and the bugs and the air and the friends that I've made. And so um, I'll share a little bit of my journey. It's only a couple of years old journey, but um, France, a France one I'll share at the end. But I was just going to do a little sketchbook tour of what I've done with the Urban Sketchers group first, which a lot of you may have seen. And these are hopefully going to show. Yeah. So this is, believe it or not, the town center. <laughs> um, my first, one of my first times sketching and being able to just really quickly catch everything with these pens that bleed also kind of forced me to just do light and dark. And I'll show you the pens that I use the most. Sorry, I have a chatty cat in here. And that's these calligraphy pens. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They're, <laughs> they're not really meant for artists, but they bleed in these colors. And it's really fascinating, the pinks and the purples that you can get out of there by just applying water. So this and this, uh, I'm good. These are just extra little moments that I'll do sometimes. I carry a couple of these right here with me. And that's how I got these little tonal values is with these little packs. And these are uh, crayons that basically wet down into color. So it's nice and compact. Um, this is St. Augustine, which always has beautiful windows and and town center. I kind of hop around to wherever there's open space. And that is 4th of July, the kiddos. This is a disaster, but they happen. So I'll show it. <laughs> <laughs> my attempt at trying to that water soluble ink got too much water and I lost all the lights. So I tried to go back in with, with white pen, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> um, downtown San Marco, right? San Marco. I always forget the different cities. Uh, Avondale, I'm on there. I'm on there. Yeah, I always forget which is which I'm terrible. Uh, this is my my son's park these are the playground right in there and this is just me hanging out in the parking lot while he plays again just trying to steal a few moments uh this is savannah vix on the river someone might know that <laughs> that's my attempt 
at drawing out there, but everybody who was with me wanted to move on. So I only got the one. And this was our our little steeple sketch crawl that we did where we did the church. And we did a couple views of that. Um, I arrived early for my hairdresser appointment and this was the view down the beach. So try to bring the stuff with me everywhere I go. Our car show switched over to just pen and ink. And this is when I think my detailed self came out a little bit more. And this is still me loosening up, me getting a little bit more contour. And in the France sketchbook, you'll see how I went from detail, detail, detail to getting even more sloppy, but loving it. And here's not too long ago, this was just this summer, uh, Dutton Island. And we were all finished from a hike and just relaxing and, and uh, you know, enjoying the ambience and again, just getting more loose. I missed the boat crawl with you guys, but I went out there on my own and did the, the uh, what is it? The or or, 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 like, or, or like, thank you, thank you. Uh, and this is our zoo visit. And this is just walking around and did a little collage page of different moments, different things. My favorite creature right there. And that was and the continued zoo visit. And this was our bicentennial Zoom. So I thought I'd feel a lot of this stuff with stuff you guys have all seen. And this was a park that I can't remember the name of. Vincent. Thank you, Vincent Park. That's right. And then just having a coffee down downtown um, at oh, I can remain bread, not the bread and board. What was that place? Uh, Avondale. This is in yeah Southern Grounds. Probably you were at Southern Grounds. I love drawing Miatas and Jeeps. <laughs> yeah, to get those guys, they're like those are two of my favorite rides sitting there together. Was were there lights on the tree by a white yeah. hand? Can you tell? Okay. Yeah, the white pen. Made I didn't. I couldn't tell what you used. I just figured. Yeah. I just was. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so, nice. Thank you so much. So that's it for that one. And then my other thing I used too, and this was what I'm mostly. So the closest thing I did to urban sketching before the urban sketchers was Mark. these here. These. Um, Alcohol-based markers. This is just a gray gradient pack that I love. I've I've replaced these multiple times. And what I would do is little note hands, as they're called, and sketches to decide a painting. So I would do these a lot before and decide if I liked the painting, you know, the, the placement of it. So this is, I guess, technically urban sketching. <laughs> it was the closest I got it was mostly just the plot and this was a waiting room so I actually did try to waiting room at a car dealership for the most part these are just plans that's something I realized this is kind of more fun to me than, than the gardens Lego center I don't know what that sound is <laughs> and then baseball and a couple little sketches of being on a boat and the captain and the bridge. So you can see I flip around between what I have handy, how portable I want to be, um, how much the people I'm with can tolerate the painting. And then my recent one, and I haven't shared these yet, and is my favorite little sketchbook. I'm a really big fan of these Hanamules. Uh, nostalgies. They are really, really good with all the different things that I use. Um, but here is us landing in Paris. And this is all dark, but this is us landing. So we got stuck on the plane waiting for the taxi. So I figured I'd doodle because I was awake. Um, yeah, water spilling on my thing. As you can see, the water dripping off. My Notre Dame got really dark. <laughs> so she stood from the fire. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, right. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yes that was um that is the side effect of using water soluble is sometimes the water comes flooding out of the water brush and now you're having to try to scoop it up and dry it up and I lost some of my detail there uh this is a little bit more what I was after and these sketches probably took me like 10-15 minutes uh we were docked at one place but we couldn't get off so this was me being my normal tightly rendering self 
but I did enjoy getting back to that every once in a while. And then this is that same tree that's right here. Let's just look to the right and this little town <laughs> with the cathedral. And nice. this was me trying to do a little bit more tightly rendered watercolor. I probably spent way too much time, like an hour and a half, two hours on this tiny little drawing. <laughs> and then mm. while we were cruising and not any not docked anywhere so I did the little bell again a little bit more detailed an hour for a bell but started to loosen up and this is back to the pen that I love and um, this is the cathedral in Rouen France and it's called the city of a hundred or a thousand spires even though they're only known to have I think 177 but apparently this is what they're known for. And I was trying to catch all the little street lights in front of it, because to me, I think those kind of things just bring so much more character to it. Um, so attempt at gargoyles. Just, yeah. I was noticing that in, in these sketches, you're starting to like bring in uh, annotation a little bit more. It, I know, as, I'm not good at it, but I also knew that I'm not going to remember places that aren't local as well obviously I'm not remembering local places <laughs> I figured I would try to do that I don't like my handwriting I don't like my placement so yeah I don't do it as often as I should um I don't know I just I should <laughs> I really should but I, I think about it after the fact, or I go back in there and, and like, I really want to remember the name of this place. And I'm not going to remember that this was Rowan and not, you know, Lion Delis, because we went to so many places and I'd be like, which one was this? So I felt like I should put them on in this go around just because this is like my little tour book. Um, so yeah, this was um, Normandy. And I did switch to pencil that day. You know, the, they have this monument there. And I really liked that freedom is forever at this angle. Sorry, the lighting of it. And I know it's kind of a weird angle to catch the statue, but I just like, that's a whole saying that pans around a very almost full circular area in the mm -hmm. memorial. But uh, it was a very sombering trip. Um, so that was, sorry, my son's walking in and trying to talk to me. Please close the door. Bye. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, that's a cool castle. So this is the uh, Richard the Lionhearted Castle. And this is, um, again, trying to do, let the watercolor go first and not ink it. And I'm not necessarily really good at that. But on the ship, they had a watercolor artist who was giving classes. And that's oh, what wow. How nice. Do. And she was giving us three pre-made paintings to choose from. And I did a totally different one there. And then I really liked how that one came out. I didn't bring that one over to the thing, but I liked how that one came out. I'm like, let me try this watercolor only thing again. So this is me starting to learn something different. Um, this is a lot of just little quick sketches. So this was a little restaurant, a little corner, a uh, little place. And this is the same place. This is kind of like different angles. So looking in here, this guy was just having a little coffee down a little hallway. This was inside the glass. This guy's reading a little magazine and then they have such unique fixtures out there that I just wanted to kind of catch. You're starting to see where I'm just doing more quick things that I can do because everything's moving really fast at this point and everybody's in a tour group and we only get like 10 minutes while they sit there and talk about something and then we have to move on, so. Um, don't know where this is, just cute, pretty architecture somewhere in Paris. <laughs> this is in front of Shakespeare and Company right next door. There's a little cafe, uh, Shakespeare and Company's a very famous bookstore. This is, uh, the Dome d'Invalide, I guess you could say, which was a, a hospital that used to be used for, um, the military and now it contains Napoleon's tomb and things I thought that was interesting listening to the tour guide. So this was a really good, uh, really quick for me to get that much detail and then still be able to use the water brush to just pick out even this stuff up here. You know, it reads that there's 
detail and texture in there, but it literally is just squiggling of the water brush. And I normally would be in there like, what is that? Let me zoom in. Is that, is that a dude? Is that a creature? Is that a, and I would want to draw if it was circular, but I'm learning still to loosen up. Uh, just another one of the cute little views. Paris has trees on every corner. So it's really neat to see all the architecture peeking through the trees. Uh, this is a little macaron stand that we were at and I got to try a couple of the authentic Paris Paris macarons. Now I made it for dessert. Oh yeah, they gave me one that was flavored like rose and I oh. did not like it. I thought it you tasted like perfume. <laughs> Uh, this is the um what is it Arc de Triomphe and I happened to catch it um before the sun was setting so that's actually the sun was like coming through and shooting through and I was really trying to catch the deep shadows that were coming out because it was just so cool looking so I tried to really really quickly render and again I'm I'm getting I'm embracing the squiggles I'm, I'm getting better at squiggles normally that if that was a little creature it would be a creature so I'm getting better and I'm getting better at the idea that the eye finishes that this is some sort of angel wing dude down here but I literally again it's just like squiggles so I had to really really learn how to do that isn't that crazy I had to learn how to draw less <laughs> and so I have feel like I've grown um I had my brown pen with me a sepia pen that I also brought I actually brought that to try to really quickly render stuff at the museum which I have other like like three paintings I was or three drawings I was able to do there and again just catching little moments everywhere I went and cool architecture and um, I think that's it for this one and the other one I have that's really quick did I not grab it I have one more here don't know oh here it is buried under here my other favorite way to draw and this is really quick stuff is white pen on toned paper these, I'm not kidding, these are five to 10 minute drawings. Uh, this one was the only one that maybe took me 15. I just can scratch the, I can see all the highlights and just scratch them in everywhere. And the white and the, the mid-tone of the paper does so much heavy lifting. So I was able to just knock these out, all of these, like 10 minutes. That one was maybe a little longer because I was trying to get the angles right. Mm -hmm. It was like 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I let the paper kind of do it. And it's just a white gel pen and just scratch it in. And I only did a couple. How do you keep your white gel pens alive? Mine constantly seem to dry and just be gone in short order. Um, Most I don't. And you're right. I buy them constantly. <laughs> they're, okay. every, they're laying around everywhere. And I have okay. different ones and I found a very favorite one. Um, the two favorites, obviously we all know the jelly rolls. Those always yeah. work really well. This one is the Uniball Signo. This one's gonna yeah. be a little more richer. And then there's a third one I got and it's called Artistro. I don't think I have it in the, in here. Hold on. Oh, I might. This one is been amazing and this one I brought with me and it's Artistro. yeah this one has been it's a it's a paint marker pen it's a little bit less <laughs> gel, and it has given me some really good whites now this paper is a mixed media toned and most of the tone papers have like that tooth this one doesn't have any tooth so I really like how smooth it is because I've noticed gel tip pens tend to scrape along on the texture of the toned paper. So that was pretty much everything, my materials and what I typically use. I didn't know if you guys had any questions about the stuff that I use and how I get where I get. Is there any way to bring back a white pen that kind of is puttering? Or is um, you're, you're just- I draw on myself. <laughs> I do you draw on That's yourself. What I do. I know that's silly, but like when it stops working right, I do that. And for some reason, I'll get them going again on me. I don't know why it works. The, the scratchiness of paper tends to not roll the ball. And I don't know if maybe the way my skin's oh. right, it's like you got to get the ball rolling inside of there. And once you get it rolling, it cleans it. 
but I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I just draw on myself because you're right. They dry out. So I, I have well, so many. You. That's something to try. <laughs> don't, like, don't take my advice about trying it yourself. <laughs> I think we just got to get the ball moving again. And then as long as it's not fully dried out. But yeah, I'm always, I'm always on a quest for a good white pen. Mm -hmm. But um, so the drawing, I didn't print it out. I meant to, but does everybody have it up where they can see it? Yes. Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a reference picture anywhere. You don't. I do. I just didn't have it ready. Have it on my desktop. There it is. Move my screen over. Jessica, I like all of your squigglies. Thank you. They're yes, working, those are, those they're working out really well for you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had to learn how to squiggle. <laughs> such a weird thing for me to not draw what I see. And I'm just such a draw every little cross member in the window and everything kind of person. I so, know. Oh, yeah. I really know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use my little trusty elegant writer and we're going to try this together. How do you start a, a drawing like this? I mean, I mean, uh, this is, uh, how do you start it? <laughs> I see shapes. So just to not really draw this out, but just to kind of tell you the way my eyes work is I see that if this is the, paper right or the the drawing size of it or whatever I see right away that not quite what you say I would say maybe a third of the way in I see the building start and then I see that kind of at this angle here and then I put my pen down to kind of like match it like you know what angle are those buildings at at that point and I have to visualize it like this and then I also see, for the most part, my brain's going, this is just this shape right here and scratches and all. I see this shape. You know what I mean? So that's, to me, is a shape. And Can you show us on the reference photo what you're doing? Um, um, oh, you don't have a reference photo. I don't have the reference printed. I'm sorry. I'm, going, I'm between printers. I've got a, literally a box of a brand new printer behind me. So I didn't know if you guys had the photo pulled up somewhere. Uh, I don't know what I could do. Well, the middle shape you just did is just the blue sky in the back, right? Like that's just it's the middle. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. see what you're I'm doing. Showing my blue sky. Got it. You know what I can do is. I see what you did. <laughs> so this is on. Sorry, I've taken a moment to try to see if I can pull it up on my tablet here and put it alongside. So the line across the top is the cross top of the paper, but is this of a frame or something? It's, yeah, that's just the, you know, the edge of the, of the drawing itself. I was just trying to show you how yeah. it's okay. almost like an imaginary grid. I didn't really grid it out, but I kind of see that, you know, all things being equal, this starts about, you know, a third of the way through. I honestly just draw what I, what, it feels right and just kind of like that and it's not really accurate and I'm more sketchy than that and this one's not meant to be my full drawing I'm just was saying how I see everything through shapes sorry this is my old tablet and I don't use it often and I'm trying to see airdrop no to my iPad Perfect. Okay. Now I have it. <laughs> I have it here, kind of, sort of. So that might help people visualize who aren't seeing what I see, I guess. Will that work? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So here, we'll move off of this page. This was just kind of like just to show you, and this is not going to be the drawing, but I'm just kind of showing that the to get that glare to go away a little bit. Let's 
adjusting to get that shine off of there. All right, everybody see that okay? Yes. This doesn't keep stopping. <laughs> okay. So now you guys can see this shape right here, what I was what I was talking about is the blue sky, right? And then I see from here at the bottom, I see that just, just a little bit of that. And then I also see this as a shape. I kind of see this guy. It's weird, I'm trying to draw looking at the reference on the TV screen. And I'm like, wait a minute, I can draw looking down, can't I? So that big shadow there to me is a shape. And I continue to try to find I really am just contour sketching real quick here. I'm not trying to commit to any of this stuff. This is just me getting that stuff down. That's going to be the meat and potatoes of it. And believe me, I don't make the right line every time. I'm, I think I will draw an angle multiple times trying to find it. that and then you know I'll start to refine it from there so I've got a little bit of the beginning of where everything should be and then I can start looking at things that are important you know like these balconies and everything so I'll try to get into it a little bit more I think I was just trying to explain how I how I visualize how my brain works a little bit compared to how I draw so I don't necessarily draw that shape first because I don't think I would get it right on the first try. But to me, I see I'm aiming for that shape. So I don't know if you guys have already started, but I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at drawing and, <laughs> and visualizing at the same time. All right, so trying to account for all the space. light and my hope right now is that you guys are all so engrossed in your own drawing <laughs> that you kind of glance up and see mine once in a while so I kind of feel like I've gotten the right amount of room for everything again it doesn't have to be perfect um this shows like it comes to about there this is about the same distance away and I use a lot, a lot, a lot of reference of what I'm next to. So I know that from a certain spot, certain things line up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but if they're in reference with each other, what I'm saying is, oh, I'll try to figure out how to word it. I know that the distance here to here and the distance here to here are almost the same and just a little bit longer. And I try to use that. And then I know that at the moment of this juncture, this thing turns and changes. And then this angle goes in. So I use a lot of things relative to each other, if that makes sense. Is that? Yes. Anybody else draw that way? Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's you skip some perspective stuff. Yeah, perspective is is so like I just do not see it right away. I always struggled with, you know, perspective, but I'm like, okay, I've decided this is the point. Here's the point where the building starts. So this is getting a little line out of here. And then I'm gonna be now that I've committed to this shape and this size, I know that this, the height of this door doorway is about the height of this guy down here. And that means that this is going to extend a little bit longer to be the bottom. And so now that I've got this point of reference down, I can start to picture where other things are happening. So right at this, or is it right here? There's like a little stoplight. And I like doing all the little things because again, they help me pick, pick out where things are going to go. And I'm starting to try to find this angle here. 
and there's a light pole and that light pole comes up to right about where this thing ends. So this little stop light. So now I'm using it as a reference point for how far down I should go. And I know the building ends here and it seems to end right about there. So starting to get a little more tightly rendering just because I want things to be a little bit more correct in contrast to each other. And that's going to help me send these lines off, hopefully, somewhat in the right direction. And this road's a little lying because it, it curves a little bit. It doesn't go straight. And then these people, and this is about that far, this is about there. So again, I, my detail-oriented mind still shows me that I'm putting things in relevance to each other and that I need to make sure that they're hitting in the right spot. That's a shadow. And so this shadow to me is one of the more important things that's happening. So I really want to almost exaggerate it. I feel like it's where a lot of the fun stuff is happening in these shadows. So there's my little box from before. There's a little shadow shooting out right here. There's a gap shadow there. And again, I might be exaggerating a little bit just because I want to, I want that white line to really stand out there. So when I go to ink it or wet it, I don't accidentally cover it up. If I don't want to commit to a line, you'll see me kind of do this little like staccato line. I'm like, maybe that's where I want that. I don't know. We'll see. And again, using this guy as a reference, I'm going to see that this shadow, I'm going to kind of pick it out to right about there. There's like little trees. And again, I'm doing a lot of relative to what I see painting. So to speak. And again, it doesn't all have to be perfect. And this is a lot of just dark, you know, not necessarily super important to the viewer stuff going on. And that last shadow that's got that line is going to have a nice bright spot right there. So again, ending right about that light pole. And I had to put that light pole in early because it's kind of important to me to find everything that kind of goes with it. And I'm spending a lot of time in this little area just because perspective can really throw me in these shadows again are more important to me than a lot of the other stuff. The buildings I can kind of fake, but I think the way that these shadows hit the buildings are going to make this painting much more interesting. All right, so we know right about, let's see, the people are going to be there. And then I'm going to have this motorcyclist somewhat where he's going to be, just so I can, again, use him as a point of relativity. And that. Yeah, and then that's right by them. Start to poke a little bit of that in there. Mm. And it's kind of weird that I'm drawing the shadow before the details. I'm just, like I said, I find that's the most important part of this particular painting to me. And I've always been an artist who kind of seeks out the story, the, the light and dark story before anything else. And then from there, I'm going to try to throw this guy in this one, his curves. Worry about those moments in a little bit. We've got a little thing going on here. 
And again, these things don't have to be perfect because they're not really the story I'm trying to tell. But kind of mentioning them all, so to speak, will contribute to it. And that's and I'm starting to see like my, my lines are doing good. I've got a really good concept. I've created that shape that I saw ahead of time and I've continued to, to, you know, there might be, this is a little lower, but again, not the end of the world. And then it's gonna go right down into my spot pretty well. And there's not too much important stuff going on right there. So I've got a lot of the baseline in. So what I'm gonna do is here in the shadows, I'm actually going to spend a little bit more time with this pen trying to capture these little moments. And the reason I'm spending a little bit more time on these is because they're the ones that are going to, I want to bleed the most. I want those moments to get all that juicy ink. So um, just again, you're not going to see the detail of all this, but get these few moments right. Now the pen you're using is water soluble? Yes, it's the one that bleeds. Okay. Those like pinks and purples that I love so much. And like I said, the reason I'm focusing so much on just this area here is because I want to get all this shadow inked in and I want to go ahead and just get it wet and let it play a little bit. And then I'm going to go back over and do detail again. And this is going to allow me to have and this is actually one of my newer ones, so it's juicier. And I don't, they're not, I actually like it when they start to dry out and they get a little scratchy. Because <laughs> if I use one that's more scratchy, I don't know, this one's 2.5 millimeter and they come in a 1.3. So this extra fine one, for instance, let me see if it's going to act the way. Yeah, see how it's scratchier? So they both bleed, but this one's going to send more of the fluid out. So for my darker spots, I'll stick with this guy. And again, just trying to get these mm. all, all sorted. And I know there's one right across. So I'm seeing here that this little bar goes across there. So I'm kind of using that as a, how am I doing on my building? And once you get certain windows lined up, you can start lining them all up with each other getting those first ones I take a little bit more time to slow down and look at. And then I see this guy, he's right below the light shadow. So, and we're starting to see everything more level right about there. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of angle. And then down, there's a cool little moment down here. And then this goes windows. These are all angled windows. So this is a curved area here that's making a little goofy looking if you're not noticing it as much. And then over here in the shadow, we've got this building. Okay, so pretty much goes right into that sign. And that's gonna be a dark area under color. Try to get these, comes off the middle of that window. This is a fun little design. I don't think it's going to be a little straighter. And again, I don't normally tightly render this early, but I just go on. I want all that juiciness in this part area. Lisa, how are we doing on time? I'm a chatty person tonight, apparently. It's 8, eight 
52, you got plenty of time. You're doing great. What do we usually go to? I don't even know. <laughs> 9.30 or 10, you know? Oh, I don't think we do that. I'm good. And <laughs> got these guys here. And then we know that these windows all kind of line up with each other. There's five, there's a middle one. All right. And then these are more elaborate versions of the buddies there. It's my balcony. Greenery. That's where I am at the greenery and the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, I'm gonna bring this line down pretty straight. Our angle. I'm like, I like to turn to make my line straight. So <laughs> you can turn the paper, remember that. Don't ever let anyone tell you you can't turn the paper. <laughs> All right, and then we've got this cool dude here that starts, dabs right into that. And it goes up, just to remind myself. It goes up more than it feels like it should. You're doing great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's uh, it's just really fun to see how. You know, I'm thinking I need to be exact and I see what you're doing. And I'm like, hey, loosen up. Loosen up. <laughs> you can that's do this. Loosen that's up. The game right. I always play. Yes. <laughs> All right. There's my little lamp. So this guy is going to be trying to put some of these little place markers in for this building way off to the right. This is on the second set of things. It's pretty much right there. A couple balconies. I'm glad you said that, Lisa, because I just realized my entire body is like tense. <laughs> I mean it, right? It's like, oh, yeah. why am I so tense? Just, <laughs> just enjoy it. Just let go <laughs> that's that is so hard to do right let go i'm telling you it's it's enjoying painting is a learned skill <laughs> it doesn't come with the territory <laughs> all right so like i said if you mess up no one's gonna really know you're gonna look at it later and you'll be like this is so cool <laughs> But, you know, you said something that really made that made so much sense. It's like the mind will complete it for you, you know, right. and, and we don't think that we think, oh, God, I've got to get every bit. But you're right. The mind will complete it for you. Yeah, that was a pretty breakthrough thing for me that I really do feel so weird putting, like I said, the squiggles, the squiggles, but they they do really. Like the fact that I couldn't see up close and I didn't always have my glasses on me was a godsend. I could, I couldn't see what was going on. So I could just kind of see that I think that was a wing. So I'm just, I'm going to throw something that looks wing like in there and fake it and then realize that that's actually just fine. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Anybody watch, do TikTok? <laughs> it's know. one of the benefits though of like actually being there too doing it sort of travel diary style as you you remember and that's sort of who you're performing for right <laughs> yes it's travel. all right and i'm about to i i view this group as a group of discovery i think Every time we go and sketch, we all just discover something and go, holy Toledo, really? You know, mm -hmm. it does it for me anyways. Right. 
these little curved buildings are so cool. That's what I loved about Paris is there's so much rounded architecture and it just has such cool little, uh, it just gives it so much extra character. It really does. Oh yeah. I guess I'll play with this guy a little bit over here. I haven't really spent a whole lot of time rendering this side. At some point, I gotta draw the other side of the building. <laughs> Still in frame, right, guys? Sorry, I probably have my hand over it half the time. Oh, so, it's great. It looks great. <laughs> it looks great. I love the squig squigglies. The squigglies, yeah, my squiggles. Yes. I, I'm getting really good at squiggles, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And if you guys want to just see too what I'm talking about, I think I don't, I don't think I've shared any like of my, what I call my finely rendered art. Oh, pardon my view, but see this. This is the kind of stuff I draw and paint. So can you see that? <laughs> so I like detail. Don't get me wrong. I love detail, but I admire other people's art when it's all painterly and they make it appear in your mind, not tell you every single detail already there. Right. So being able to admire somebody else's ability to do that and then not be able, like, why do I have to keep making everything, every little spot? I'm telling you, it's a learned skill. I'm going to just keep saying that. I really dis, did not come natural to me one little bit. Me either. Me either. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then I, then I go, oh, man, that's entirely the wrong place. And then I realize that nobody else is going to stand there and look at it and say that, that it's so totally off. Right? Yeah. No, that and then yeah. also the interesting perspectives that you can get anyway, that that by things being slightly off, sometimes just make them even more interesting to look at. Right. I've seen some of these um, urban sketchers and I've been on a quest to just, I think, watch sketchbook walkthroughs. Have you ever watched the YouTube video sketchbook walkthroughs? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll just sit there and just watch them for hours and I swear it's like the, the, um, oh boy, train of thought. What was I talking about? <laughs> Sketchbook walkthrough. I know, but I was, what was leading up to that? <laughs> what were you saying? Wow. I just had the world's worst brain fart. Welcome to ADHD in adulthood, people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, hey, Jess, oh. it's uh, welcome to, to getting old. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to say that, Chris. We don't no. say that. Chris, I didn't even know you were joining us. Now I'm all intimidated I, now. I, I, no, no, no. I, I came in late. Um, I, oh. I just joined a little while ago and I'm catching up. So it's all good. You're looking good. Thank you. I didn't want to miss you. Business oh. got in the way once again. <laughs> Ready? Here's some of them squiggles in action. <laughs> it can be whatever you want. This is fun. I'm going to render that stuff much more detailed later. I'm just trying to get. So I'm not putting any of those lines in yet. I want to get like all those, see how those textured. Those were the first time I was going to draw this. I'm like, what was I thinking putting this up? There's way too much detail, but. I, I was going to draw this uh, just to be able to get a feel for it, but I just didn't have time today. Oh. And I feel like, gosh, I wish I had time today, man. <laughs> oh, cause that's so off. This little brickwork up here, I'm actually going to skip over it almost completely at first. I'm gonna try to see if I can let the ink 
do some of that heavy lifting for me in the water. I'm not going to try to chase each and every one of those moments down just yet. Going to the edge of the paper over here. I like how you hold your pen way out. <laughs> you know, like yeah. like it's a brush. You're holding your pen like it's a brush. And, yeah. uh, and that's got to make you a little looser also. It does. It makes the lines not so rigid, which I'm, again, really enjoying the fact that that happens um, more than most uh, more aspects. And that was actually something I'd heard to do with my brushes if I wanted my paintings to be a little bit looser. And I started doing it and it became a more natural feel. And I think it just translated without even thinking about it to this. All right, so I think I've got a lot of the meat in there that's going to allow me to do some of the stuff I'm going to do. And I'm not going to worry about all that detail just yet. So here comes the scary and fun part, and that is getting a water-filled brush. Do I have one handy? Yes. And the brushes make the difference. So I've splurged a little bit and I'm getting the Karandash. They come in a really cool three pack and I don't have the other one next to me, but it's a small, medium, large, or not small, medium, sorry, um, it's a medium and a large. And then this one is a felt tip marker tip. And I love this one because I can take some of this, this wet ink stuff and I can just like draw with it. And I don't know, I just love that, but for the time being, I'm going to use, this is the large, and it's got the pump, which gives me more control, and they're not all created equal. I have learned that, and one of my favorite things to do, and I might just test the water real quick, water flow, is get the first little flow of water really, really juicy, or if I have just regular watercolor stuff, I'll just go ahead and wet the brush and get it really wet. Because I love that first wet bleed for my skies. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and I love just letting it do, again, all the heavy lifting. And then, get this ready. Ooh. When you do that, it starts turning pink. Don't ask me why, but I love it. <laughs> nice. So there's my sky. Did you see that? It was like two seconds. Yeah. I've had it where you guys are like, all right, everybody wrap up. I'm like, hang on. And I just go to town with the water. I've like literally just done the rendering and I haven't done any of the art. <laughs> I'll, I'll like go to town with the water. Like, just look at it, isn't it? Oh, I just love this part. All right, now I'm going to grab my pen <laughs> and we got that guy. And the reason I wanted to fill this out, I usually wouldn't do all the detail first, but I really wanted to get all of this part. Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's going to actually leaks over into this part over here. And it's actually a hard edge, so I'm actually trying to catch, not let it bleed too much. Everything here is in shadow. Um, Look for some of those darkest pots here. I went a little high there. I lost my light, but that's okay. Nobody's got to know. <laughs> I 
see already without doing a whole lot of like much that I'm starting to see some really fun moments in here. And then I can use, this thing's kind of loaded up with color now. I can use it to bring out some of the other dark and darker spots without even tap, tapping into it. You guys are all deep in your rendering, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really cool. I, want, I can't wait to see everybody's. I'm so engrossed in mine. I, I, I actually love watching everybody create on these things. I'll pause for long periods of time and watch everybody else. Okay, and so this one, I have some of these brushes with flat tips. There we go. And this is going to be my little bit of my cheat here. I didn't want to deal with this section up here. So I'm actually loading this with some of the ink from the stuff around it <laughs> to actually kind of load it. And then I'm going to try to cheat with the flat brush. So kind of let that do it for me. And then I actually like that this brush is a little less wet right now because I want this to be the darkest and this is all in shadow, but it's not crazy in shadow. And we have this pattern going on. It's gonna try to help me get some of that rendered. Because these brushes can be, you can kind of see that they bleed and soft and hard, so it doesn't have to be constant. <laughs> Mine is just out of control bleeding. <laughs> Maybe more fun than you think. <laughs> I'm going back over some of these spots that I want to be darker. And what's this ink that specifically I like is because it actually is a one-time wet. Like it's done after that. <laughs> so it's actually now not going to bleed anymore if I go back over it with wet. It's just a bizarre feature of it. There's some more shadows there. That. It's almost like I need to go over it with pen again. And I, and I do, yeah. So that's actually totally acceptable. <laughs> oh man, I got too wet there and that looks weird. Yeah, and that's showing you my sketchbook. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Fun though. <laughs> it can be. I think that's what it made it fun for me is this, this discovery. Okay, I'm doing too much. Let me step back. Okay. I don't think I can go any further. Yours looks so good. Oh my God. Thanks. And then the last pen I like to use is This one here. Got a couple of different, any micro or my fine liner works. I have a Tombow fine liner and I have a zebra brush pen. Um, they all work just fine. They have different thicknesses. That one's way too chunky. That one's better. So now I'll go in and try to render 
some of this stuff that I kind of lost or let go with the pen that won't bleed so many places. I got this fabulous uniball pen. It's not uniball, it's a, uh, well, it's one of those type at the pen show. And it is just, oh my God, it is juicy. It's one of those- Did you go this weekend? Yeah, what? You went this weekend, it was at the, this weekend, the pen show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of hard because, you know, if you really didn't know what you um, know much about pens, it really wasn't for you. And that was me. I don't know that much about pens. So it was kind of hard. But I did find one that I really liked. So that's important. How are you guys doing? Good. Busy, busy, busy. I know there's a lot of busy little things you could be spending a lot of time rendering. Mine is out of control bad at this point. Oh. <laughs> Probably not as bad as you think. Lisa, you don't know what out of control is. I didn't have my, uh, I couldn't find my water brush. So I used my little spray bottle. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> fun, though. That's awesome. That spray bottle. I tried to mask <laughs> off the light areas with the napkin. <laughs> that could be so fun though to just let it just go how fun is that oh it I is it. just yeah. let it do its own thing mm -hmm. okay here's here's what i was looking for i feel like this all got away from me mm -hmm. it's so wet now that it's so wet i can't draw on top of it oh no okay maybe I can't use that. I'm going to use a micro. I've got like 10 pins on my desk here trying to get one to work. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. Let's see that guy. I get all silent when I concentrate. <laughs> you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, this, my dog. He won't leave me alone. Every, every room I'm in, he's in. <laughs> and then he wants to get in my lap, and he's not a lap dog. <laughs> he's like, oh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark areas there. Let's see. All right, and we got. My ice cream cone, I mean, people. I know. <laughs> Just call them ice cream cones. <laughs> Hopefully that's working. Do I have any ink in it? Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Let's see, we got light hitting there. Oh, 
Ah, so quiet. I think we're all creating. At this point, everything I'm doing is just like, how much more do I want to do? Because the outer edges, I don't feel like are important to it enough to just keep rendering it. Let's see how many times there. So we have two. Yay. Anybody making something fun? <laughs> they can be proud food. of. I got my uh, pen. I got finally got my foodie pen working, so maybe uh, I'll okay. be able to finish this. It's like you stop looking at the picture and you start just making up buildings. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I can see the room, the window where you were. Jacksonville. <laughs> hey, you know, Lisa, you really hit on something. You get to a point where you don't want to look at the picture anymore. You want right. you want to begin to put in what you what you, what you see. Yes. You know? It gets it gets really interesting at that point. <laughs> it's like okay, what city were you in there? <laughs> yes. find the edge of the stuff again. Some darker spots, trying to push that contrast back out. This guy needs to come out more. It's funny because all my little building lines, these little scraggles are all sticking out, but it's not like, oh no, look at this line I missed. Oh, it never really, like I totally missed this. This isn't belonged on the building at all, but I think this this was supposed to be the lamp and I did it down here, but you know what? There'll be two lamps, great. <laughs> I've just learned to stop beating myself up about stuff like that. There you go. That's the hardest part, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a little complicated stuff going on right over in this area. I have to slow down because it, the building hits an angle, really interesting angle right there. And then goes into this. And that one's torturing me. <laughs> it's like... I have to slow down. I don't want to anymore. I decided I wasn't going to slow down. But some things are worth a few minutes of pause. All right, and then because I want that to be a little bit darker, I'm going to take one of my little cheats. I'm going to take one of those brush pens, those alcohol brush markers I showed you earlier. And I just want this shadow over here to be a little bit darker. And I can only go into so many tonal values with the wash. So I have this cool gray. That's a four. 
school grade two. I'll try that one first. This one may not be dark enough. I'm not too cool. And I have these kinds of things everywhere. I've got them in. I've got them in paper pastel. I've got them in. Let's see. It might be too dark. Practicing in a couple places where I won't notice as much. There we go. That one looks good. So I kind of want this whole area to be just a little bit more. The shadow to be really oomped. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Excuse me. Come here. Look at. Here he is. Everybody say hi. Hi, <laughs> fuckers. Hey, what's going on? Huh? What? He's got the cutest face of any dog I've ever had, don't you? <laughs> She's like, I know. He's such a cutie. I have to finish my drawing. I can't play with you. Hey, did we uh did did everybody wish Patrick happy birthday today? Oh happy birthday, Patrick. I said <laughs> something. Thank you. Yeah. We're so involved with this, we forgot. I know they're coming around really fast. As long as they don't have a zero behind it, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Patrick. Do what? Happy birthday, Patrick. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you had a good day. I did. I had a great day. That's good to hear. Yeah, you get to show yours first there, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my birthday. <laughs> it's just going to last. I'm trying to de-emphasize, so I'm going with the gray. First, to just, like I said, kind of push these shadows. I wanted them to be a little bit stronger because I was having trouble making this darker than over here. So I think this pen did a good job at really deepening that. I wanted these, these cuts to be really striking. So that was important to me that these changes in light stood out. Well, you accomplished it, Jessica. That's that's a really nice shadow. <laughs> it is. Thanks. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back over the other side one more time. Which looks because I was trying to get some things to stand out. Then you can go back over it again, and they'll they'll layer. But I'm at the point where I want this whole building in shade over here, because it is. I wanted to do one layer of stuff like these, all this brickwork and everything. Pretty severe light change right there. I think by darkening this all down. It makes the white stand out more over here. Join in. Don't chew on that. No.
I'm pretty much all I'm doing at this point is footsin. That's a real word. Prompt. It, it is. It's a real <laughs> footsin. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stop there. I don't I don't want to render all this just because I feel like it's not important. It's just kind of bringing it out, but anyway. It was really my goal in this painting was to catch that distinct difference in the light going down the street. That's what I'd hoped to accomplish. It looks good. It looks really good. Real nice. Yes. Exciting. How's everybody else doing? Hanging in there. We ready to show and to help? Not yet. 9 30 that was my goal more shadows more shadows more shadows yeah <laughs> it. my people got lost in the shadow <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and a lot of people could have skipped the sky, sky thing and probably you know that bright white sky might have been a good thing too but i just i love making little skies out of this i'll try not to actually usually fill the whole thing. I like to leave it um, a little bit more white space. I tend to enjoy it more that way, but I don't always accomplish what I'm after. Yeah, you know, like this one here, you can kind of see where I just can't get it to be very clear. I just had a little bit of it. Didn't really let it or in this one. They can do some really cool things, but it really does have a mind of its own. So I really enjoyed listening to you speak about how, you know, how you're putting your drawing together and what was important about uh, this little part was important and the light hitting here was important. I need to think more about those type of things. I just let them kind of go when I, you know, so I really, that was good for me to hear. Yeah, and it's also that pen I was talking about. If I really I, wanted to try to bring, what do I do with it? My artistro. Some of that white back. There it is. Maybe I'd like you know, a little bit of that. This pen doesn't work as good on this ink because this ink actually will get I guess re-wet with this pen. So you kind of have to, let's see if this is good or not. <laughs> then you could put a cloud in. Yeah. And see how it doesn't, it doesn't stay white with this particular pen. I actually like that feature of it is that they, they work well together. But then I could also put in some like windows. So see, it goes in a little white, but it actually dries down fairly um, like like a muted blue, purpley color. Oh, there's people in there. They're, yeah, I tried. They're like hanging out down here. Here she's got a purse. <laughs> That's good. Nice little headlight. I like him out quite. Here I am, puts it again. But you could do cool little details. So like these just add little more moments to it. These little Great. stripes doohickeys and dots and that's the kind of stuff that makes the city come alive a little bit more. Yeah. Nice. Look at mine from afar. As I said, I'm just, I'm just playing. Showing right. a little thing. Well, let's do some show and tell. We're at about 9.32. And once we uh, take a look at what everybody's done, 
and you could do some closing comments or you can comment on how we did. Okay. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> I <laughs> am not, not a critique. <laughs> Don't make me. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to see everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Great. Anybody else ready? Yep. All Whoa. Right. <laughs> Who wants to start? I'll start. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yay. Oh, I it love the ice. I love oh, the flowing. Goodness. Your water didn't go wacky. Yeah. I'm expecting like, like it. I'm expecting like my Notre Dame where it was just like bleh. <laughs> this is a, just a flare pen, just a bit. Yeah. Of, yeah. Very nice. Oh, fun. Very nice. It was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Good. Who's next? I've got one. Okay. Right. okay. Now this, <laughs> this is some wacky water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You are not clear on my end. Yeah, know. you're not clear. I wonder why. I don't know. This is birthday. Very fuzzy. <laughs> it sure is. I don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> now, what kind of pen is it? That 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 nice job. Uh, well, it's it's a fountain pen. It's the food. Oh. And it's it's the it's the most uh, aqueous ink I've ever put in a pen. I mean, it, it just goes crazy. It went fluidy, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> which is cool if you do it in the sky or the ocean or something you know what'd be cool is what you just did and then take a um a black ink pen and mm -hmm. ink the detail over that i think that would look so cool because i i couldn't i can't see a really clear detail because of the way the feed is but i saw some really beautiful strokes and marks and then taking and doing the everything over top of it yeah I it would have to help awesome. yeah <laughs> Great. Okay, who's next? Jamie. Okay. Oh, Jamie, nice. Really? Oh, nice. oh, wow. What a control. I used a pilot. Okay. And that's kind of water soluble. Yeah. <laughs> that's hey. And I have my friend here. Christine's going to show you hers. Mm -hmm. Hi, Christine. Hi. Nice. Oh, I love your detail. Your Very perspective good. is right in there, right? Oh, yeah. That's good. Very good. Yeah. It's old. Thank you. <laughs> Which one's he going to fit? Where else? Chris? Were you able to? Chris, did you do anything? Or did you just observe? Oh, I did. Hang on. Sorry, I joined late, but you know, it kind of acquiesced to my typical. Oh, yeah. My God. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> you got that shadow. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Oh yeah. Uh, well, you, you try to squint your eye and you know get get into some. You 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 want the illusion of detail without detail. Right. Right. You know, what, what we say in the business is show them everything, yet show them nothing. <laughs> <laughs> or as i like to say squiggles oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's always fun sorry to join late i didn't want to miss you and jesse that's yours is uh, outstanding i love your technique Aww. as well it's great thank you yeah bonnie bonnie what did you oh i'm oh, sorry what? did you Let's see mine you didn't see mine oh little guy Oh, oh, I like that. Yeah. Look at all your shadows. I love all your little window shadows. You just just literally drew the shadows. It's so striking. I love Very it. Nice. Yeah. Very nice and of you. Was using a free pen from work. So <laughs> <laughs> this bleeds nice. That one bleeds really perfectly. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Good. Come on, people. Get your drawings up here. Who's next? Janet. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. 
Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Did you have fun getting everything wet? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it can be freeing. It really can. Just like let it do some of the some of the shadowing for you. I can't really see the colors, but there's a lot of pink in it. Yeah. Oh, did you did you use the same kind of pen? The elegant writer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're so fun. You can really play with so much with those. I That's like a surprise. <laughs> it's the pink that when it comes out, just decides to come out. And it's sometimes a really cool surprise. I think when you try to dot it with a paper towel, like get it really wet, mm -hmm. the longer it stays wet, the more it separates into the to the teals and the and the pinks. Yeah. Thing I've noticed. All right, at all. Lori? Me? I oh, was so quiet. Oh, 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 oh no. Nice. Colors. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow. Nice, Lori. Very, very nice, Lori. Very, very nice. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a big, big painting, too. Yeah. I like, I like the larger work. I think you feel a little bit more freer. Like, you know, it forces me not to be so tight. Like a big paint strokes. Yeah. Hey, Barbara, very, very Barbara, nice. Barbara, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Actually, you can't tell as much here. This this is like, this was really a mess because my pen wasn't fluid at all. And then I went back over it with some black paint, watercolor paint. Oh, nice. So it, it disguised it pretty well on camera. Looks <laughs> <laughs> good. Looks good. Yeah, I love the shadow. shadows. Yeah. Connie? Okay. Connie? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. oh, good. Well, she emphasized that shadow so much. And my, I used an elegant writer, and mm -hmm. my water brush was very liquid, and it just almost went to solid black. So yeah. that worked. has some lightening with, well, I, I've used every lightener to make lighten those windows so it gives some form. Like I even went to a pastel pencil finally because none of my pens were working, uh -oh. but that was fun. It, it's really I, fun, I, yeah. It can, so it I've can never done that you. before. <laughs> yeah. 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 The pens, uh, water pen was way too um, free with water. What could I'm you clear of that. Yeah. It's sometimes some, anyway. I have some I find I lose control of them and I have to, I realize I just can't use that pen because you, you really do need a little bit of control sometimes. Yeah. Or a lot of paper. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad some of you guys got a hold of the pens. I know it's a super weird thing to be drawing with, but. Well, I had to go dig for it. I didn't know where it was. Yeah. That was great. Oh, wow. That yeah. does. Yeah, it's really nice. Lift it up. Lift hold it, it up. up we need to see it. Lift it up. Hold it up. There it is. Oh yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. You're muted, Tonda. Cool. <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> You're muted. Oh. You're muted. <laughs> I'm usually a very detailed person, so that's like major scribbling. This is major scribbling for me. Mm -hmm. And on uh, the loosest I've ever done anything in my oh, life. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Did it make you feel uncomfortable or did it make you feel like? Did, no, I just didn't care. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just thought, you know, I don't really care if there's any detail in it at all. And then at the end, I started going back. And I've never done that before. I've always done the detail as I went along. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of interesting to go back and do some detail. Mm -hmm. And you really can't tell there's much, not much in it, but I'm just, you know, I just kind of threw caution to the wind and didn't worry about it. Good. Yeah. You learned yeah, a little that's... something about yourself. Totally worth it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's poetry. I'll tell you what, I love hearing that when you just throw caution to the wind, just get loose. It, that's what it's all about. That's fantastic. I love it. Everybody's personality is, is changing. It's, you know, Dr. Jekyll, Di you know, Mr. Hyde. It's great. <laughs> Am I missing someone? Phyllis Appleby. Oh, Phyllis. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Now if you can let's see hers. Can this. you hear? Oh. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Oh, wow. Very nice. Wow. Wow. wow you got know, those. This was lovely. scary just to look at. I'm like, all these you buildings, got those all values. these windows. That is really good. You nailed the values. So good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, really yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Well, I'm embarrassed. Oh. I'm embarrassed to show mine. No, no, no. Can you hear me okay? Go ahead. Um, um, this is the very first one I've ever done. The, I've never done urban sketching before, so tonight is my very first one. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and uh, I'm a caricature artist, so this came out kind of cartoony. Oh, 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 it's oh, wonderful. Very nice. You've got your That's great. You got the shadows in. So oh, much joy in that painting. I thought my pen was water soluble, but I don't think it was because I had to <laughs> hurry and try to get another pen that I could get some movement <laughs> with. So, <laughs> yeah. well, keep painting. There's so much character in that. I love it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the party. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You guys are also good. That's inspiring, <laughs> inspirational. I meant to show them money. Yes. Oh, Anna. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Very, very nice. That's very nice. Good. I use this pile. Yes, I like that part. I <laughs> think that's good in your sky. My hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sign think, of a true artist. <laughs> I think I got that going on too, yes. <laughs> You know, Bonnie, Ham, we have not seen yours, yes, and you have to show us yours. Yes. There you are. Ooh, a little higher. A little higher. Oh, wow. That's Come so back good. a little bit. Oh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you nice. guys do nice. it. Oh, oh, there were it. plants in there? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> wow. That's so great. Great. Oh my gosh, guys, you really rocked it. Yeah. yeah. I'm so worried about all the detail. I'm like, everybody's gonna be mad at me with all this detail, but <laughs> you guys have just absolutely rocked it. I enjoy these. That was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> before, yes, before, thank you so much. Can everyone show your so we have like in, in the screen, oh, please? Oh, me. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'll put Red. this in there. Wait, where's? Uh -huh. that can you see it? I can see it. Um, okay, one. We're waiting for. Oh. Okay, one, two, three. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Well, that was fun, guys. I. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. That was fun. I've never That's hosted amazing. anything, and I was so nervous. And you guys have just made it a blast. Uh, Hope I didn't babble too much. You did great. Oh, that was very interesting. <laughs> really did. Awesome. And just talking about uh, not doing all the little details, that really spoke to me because I I get so detailed. Mm -hmm. So it, it was um, inspiring to hear you say you've struggled with that. You know, there are times that you can do that, but then other times to focus on being loose with your work. And that's something I really need to work on. Yeah, it, it's, uh, again, urban sketching has created a new me and I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. And it's making me just create more often. And, and doing that is when I, when I go to do one of my finely rendered paintings, I'm going to have that much more control over, you know, my voice because I've got a new voice and I love it. <laughs> Very nice. Well, this was wonderful, everybody. Um, Jess, thank you so much. You really, you knocked it out of the park. We really all enjoyed this. Um, Absolutely. I, yep. I know I'm going to use um, a water soluble pen a lot more because this really <laughs> helps. It helps a lot. You know, it's almost like using a cheat sheet, you know? That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was I was gonna say that, but then I was just trying to, you know, not <laughs> give myself away. <laughs> but th this is the first time where I've been able to look at one of my drawings and know 
that I actually hit the darkest value that I wanted to hit every time it's too mm. light. And this time for once, it's the right color. And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Great. I'm glad you guys got something out of it. That means a lot to me. That was and, fun. That was yeah, great fun, fun, Jessica. Thanks. I didn't know if I had anything to offer all you talented artists. So it makes warms my heart. No, that was wonderful. It was wonderful, Jess. You you get to lead the next sketch crawl. So <laughs> <laughs> you have earned your wings, the young lady. That was fantastic. Thanks. Jessica, you always paint and draw so beautiful. Thank I you. just love your work. Yep. Yep. I really do. I'm getting all toasty, guys. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Keep it I up. Think you're fantastic. Yep. Keep up the great work, Jesse. That's uh, fantastic, is right. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody, yeah. thank you again. Thanks and for spending thank on you. this. Have, have a good night. Thank you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, it was a pleasure. Happy, happy, birthday, happy, birthday, happy, happy birthday, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Patrick. <laughs> thank you, yeah, everyone. Patrick. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night, everybody, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.